Viewers and subscribers, today I want to talk about Bounty Killer exposing squash and other dancehall artists labeling dancehall genre as trap music. Tanya Stevens blasts Wendy's restaurant for denying her access to using the bathroom. And Vibes Cartel said that he's more lyrical than Spraga Benz and blasts Caterbarrel as well. First topic we're going to jump in, viewers and subscribers, is Bounty Killer exposing some of the artists them we are talking about them at the trap dancehall, you see it? Bounty Killer Blast Trap Dancehall Artists Stop Thief People Music Bounty Killer has issued a cease and desist orders to members of the entertainment fraternity who are recording their songs in patois and hip hop and trap beats and calling it trap dancehall. According to Bounty Killer, these types of music are simply trap fusions, which are American sounds and should not be confused with the dancehall genre of music, which is an authentic Jamaican sound. Members of the six from Montego Bay, including its frontman Squash, as well as Ocherius Javilani are some of the main artists who have been voicing on these beats. Nothing no name trap dancehall. Trap music is trap music and dancehall is dancehall. So you can't take two genres and make one. When name so, you can't have reggae soca. You hear them try soggy like them want to mix soca with reggae. You can't do that. You couldn't have rap trap. So how you for have dancehall trap? That is like stealing people music to make one. No, and Jamaica have such creative music. Why are we gonna thief people music? He argued. The veteran DJ said, while he appreciates the fact that trap music has become very popular amongst Jamaican youngsters, the fact that the American beats are in no way altered or injected with authentic dancehall sounds is a clear indication that they are in no way even remotely dancehall. Dancehall is dancehall, chop a chop. So those young artists who are coming doing the chop thing, it's okay. It's the new trend. It's the hip music for the kids and things to evolve, but you cannot take Take it and make it dancehall. It's not. It was trap and you take it. How it turned dancehall. You know do nothing else but take it and sing on it, he said. It's not even like they are making the trap music different. You know, like you would have take to the kick and put a different vibes to it. Like when they make over the afro beat here. You know them put like a reggae vibes into it. But you can hear the afro instruments. They are not doing that with trap. They are playing the same groove and tempo and just because we are singing patois on it, we say it's dancehall trap. The poor people governor also sought to school the errant music producers who are mislabeling the trap songs and causing much to be confused of the role of the language in the development of the genre. No, it's not the language make it the genre, it's the groove and the beat and the tempo and the sound that create the music. So not because we sing patois and a rhythm, it turns dancehall and that is what most of the producers doing giving the youths them some pop music trap music and r&b style rhythms just because we chat like jamaican pan it them say a dancehall no the music represents itself pat was not make nothing dancehall so chop a chop dancehall a dancehall all right viewers and subscribers so you know how bounty killers stay when them man they come out attack them man they come out attack but now I go around still, me I'm one of them person who never really have no problem with the whole name Chop Dancehall. But I understand where Bounty Killer come from. You understand? I remember say he's a man who stand up for Dancehall all the time. So from him say something where I cause problem or something where I confuse the people, him, they know Bounty I go speak up. But I don't really feel like Bounty definitely had this squash or some of the other artists them zine where do the whole chop thing there even Riging King did come out and say him start this whole chop dance all thing so I don't know people, I don't really want it sound like me I try to fight against nobody genre because I don't have no problem I just like good music in general but I understand what Bounty Killer say he must say the artist them out here a thief the people them beat and then I do pat up on it and I talk about say a trap dance hall. In other words, Bounty Killer tell the artist them out here and the producers them say them need to be original. You understand me? I say and stop try confuse the people them and also them are gonna make people overseas think say we are steal from them. When normally we are the creative ones and people always are steal from the dance hall artists them but I mean people, I don't know if you say yeah, man, leave in the comments and tell me if you don't agree with what Bounty Killer say. You see me? So Bounty Killer make the artists them know straight same one them for stop it right away. 
But you know some of them now go take no talk because the man them I work with the new thing or the new something that we people like and a lot of persons like that little you know DJ and pan the hip hop type of rhythm and them something there but Bunty say we him have to say once again me not feel like him really a this no dancehall artist him just want people to stop talking about trap dancehall because not no really name so and when you think about it not no really name so you know people just try come up with new things for you. I guess for, for make money you know it's a money making thing you know everything them do is a money making thing because when you come up with something and it's so fresh and new and innovative then people are going to pull to it you make money and fight and are just the new thing for run with but in the long run you might end up and mess up your own genre which is dance all you see me but leave in the comments as me say people all right so moving on to vibes cartel and this old spraga bins issue vibes cartel says he's more lyrical than spraga bins blast catabarel is vibes cartel a greater lyricist than spraga bins here is how scatterbarrel gets in the middle of the debate music producer scatterbarrel found himself at the epicenter of an argument with vibes cartel social media managers on monday after he made a post that was deemed offensive to the world boss on instagram in his post the down sound executive gifted the dancehall artists of the 90s with the distinction of being jamaica's best cadre of musicians a declaration that left added the teacher camp in a tizzy 90s produced the most versatile DJs very few dancehall artists can make it look this easy this is art this is talent this is authentic hardcore dancehall that can never be replicated no water down trap Kian Chop Dance Hall, now my creativity. Scatter had posted beneath a video of Spraga Benz, who was seated in a chair and effortlessly DJing on a microphone without skipping the beat. Look out in the world, show me the last 10 years of music and the dance hall accomplishment. We drop with thing and I urging those who know better to do better. Do it for the love for the culture and don't be a dancehall hypocrite scatterbarrel said no sooner had he made the post than a counteraction was made from cartel's official ig page no 90s dj no more versatile than me or have more lyrics than me vibes cartel post jamaican artists are locked and tour the world with dancehall decades before 90s and jamaican artists still are locked and tour the world long after 90s dancehall long after scatterbarrel uno and my bones turn to dust amidst the flurry comments that ensued scatter attempted to offer what seemed like a part apology part appeasement to cartel's camp vibes cartel ma honestly see you as a 90s early 2000 and now legend the baddest member you older than me no father one of scatter's followers sought to take on cartel and took a dismissive stance which appeared to further anger his social media managers vibes cartel a controversy sell and confusion to the youths not talent 90s came with the raw talent too full of yourself she wrote in offending posts cartel handlers seem not to have been comforted by scatter response as they took on some of the producers followers who were making much opposing comments and posted an insult which appeared to be directed at either the producer or his followers one of them can't stop the time dance all authentic in any era some fans were not very happy and accused the cartel camp of being unprofessional and recommended that someone else be assigned to manage his page vibes cartel i'm not sure if this arrogant kind of reasoning add up to the real vibes cartel who me know you're just an handler so me I left you so one follower wrote all right viewers and subscribers so we're in a thing when you feel like said the 90s dancehall artists them better than the current generation and also the ones them with the debut in the 2000 honestly me not go say them better but me know for a fact say things never as easy as now with social media you would have just have to come with talent for make it you see me now whole heap of gimmicks thing and all them thing there even though you did have gimmicks artists like professor nuts and them thing there but at the end of the day i feel like the 90s dancehall artists them 
put in more work. I'm not going to tell a lie, but Vibes Cartel himself is a different breed of artist people. Remember, say, the man incarcerated and still a run road. And also, when he realized that Scatterbarrel kind of apologized to Vibes Cartel because he knows the Cartel thing up on another level. You understand what I'm saying, my people? So, we're not going to really talk like say Vibes Cartel now do nothing for dancehall because right now, we see songs that come out where still sound good from Vibes Cartel and the man a train almost every week on YouTube so the man a do something right you understand what I say people but 90s dancer I don't really try to turn this in a competition 90s dancer did nice till you know no, nah, go around you. I think back them time there, dance hall was more authentic. Whole heap of people did that do it because them love it. Now a lot of persons that do dance hall just for make a quick money. Some of them even just go viral and I saw them end up and make it. So it's not like them really have the passion for music. But I understand where Skatterbarrel has said, so I'm going to try to beat him down. And I understand where Vibes Cartel has come with say, oh, artists been touring before the 90s. Artists are tour from 70s and maybe all before that and them still a tour now and touring will never stop so i mean me understand where both parties are saying but people more ask you know you know feel like say the 90s artists them are the best set of artists them i you know feel like say the artists them now better than them one day I mean, boy, that is a rotted debate. I'm not telling a lie. It's really hard to pick and choose because you have some good artists where they bought from them time there. You have Bounty, you have Beanie, you have a whole heap of artists. You see my people, and you have some artists now where are good artists. You have Assassin. And I mean, I don't want to look like I choose a certain year or a certain decade or whatever you want to call it. But just leave in the comments in the comment section and let me know if you don't agree with Scatter Burrell or you feel like say, him did even a true little shades at Vibes Cartel. That's why I say so. Alright, so moving on to the final topic. Dancehall artist Tanya Stevens blasts Wendy's for denying bathroom access. Dancer Sing J Tanya Stevens is livid at one at Wendy's fast food outlet for denying her access to their bathroom when she most needed it. According to the artist, she was denied access because she had not first purchased food from the entity in order to establish that she was a buying patron. Almost peed on myself, she said. Ran to the restroom and was rejected by this little guy and a sign which instructed me to get the access code from the cashier. The thought of dripping all over their floor with an audience of other patrons kept my screaming bladder in check. Stevens noted beneath a photograph of fast food restaurant access control device which she posted on Monday. The St. Mary native who is known for songs like It's a Pity, These Streets and Boom Walk said the fast food chain action is bad for business as it is a turn off to patrons who otherwise purchase meals at the franchise. Dear restaurants, I know you think you're being a savvy business people when you lock your effing toilet doors, but walk with me now. Do all your patrons use restrooms every time they purchase? No. What percentage of your customers actually use your shit house? Do you even know? The irate artist question. Do you think enough people come seeking refuge at your door to justify your customer having to do the wee wee dance back to your cashier? And what of potential customers? Every restaurant which has ever refused me when my bladder is about to burst is a restaurant I will never spend a dime with she added stevens did not mince words as she accused the franchise operator of being penny wise and pound foolish the times when you are empty may just be the gap created by your penny wise pound foolish repulsive mentality i have bought food at wendy's on a few occasions this is the first time i've ever used their toilet she said she was supported by her fans some of whom declared that the actions are a breach of public health regulations by law, every restaurant should have a functioning restroom. Now closing the bathroom prevents customers from washing hands before eating and other simple things. This don't make sense, not from a customer standard, but also from a health perspective. In a time of health advocacy, the door should be wide open as a sign of solidarity against germs, another fan wrote. Alright people, so I definitely have to agree with Tanya Stevens. That kind of look away people, talk truth. How can they want you to purchase food before you use the bathroom? I mean, that does sound away. I'm not telling a lie. I know times are hard in Jamaica, but them really make things look bad 
bad now, like say them really greedy for money. And even if somebody come in there and want to use the bathroom, nothing wrong with that. At the end of the day, yo, that does look away. I mean, not even know say they did have restaurants where stayed away there, where you have to go get access code from the cashier and all of them things there. That to me just look very disrespectful, you see me? And me not support Wendy's with that, but at the end of the day, I feed them restaurant and they are going to operate it how they want to operate it. And I don't really think Tanya Stevens are going to affect them sales in any form or way, but it's not good for when people have, you know, them type of message they are put out about your restaurant. You want people to have good things to say about your restaurant. And for the fact that the girl almost wet up herself and she have to hold it back because she realized that be people around her. And then you are going to tell her, say, she never purchased nothing so she can't get to use the bathroom or whatever. That does disgusting. I'm not telling a lie. Now, if the girl had wet up herself and, you know, it the all over Facebook, I would have found a fault and you know, would have to just take the blame for somebody I get shame in the public eyes. But at the end of the day, people, restaurants, they have to make money. Some of them don't really care about people's health. They just look away for do that. And all the time, I see people go KFC, them use the bathroom, them come out, TSTs, um, McDonald's, well that was when McDonald's was in Jamaica but when I get the gist of what I talk about anyway people leave in the comments and make me know if you blame Tanya Stevens for putting Wendy's on blast after denying her access to use their restroom just because she never purchased a meal Jano Star, where the world I come to man? And also, let me know anything about Vibes Cartel and if you feel like he's more lyrical than Spraga Benz. And also, what you think about Bounty Killer or Blast, Squash and some of the other artists them with this old trap dancehall music. When you feel like Bounty for the young artists them, or when you feel like say a true him attack. Anyway, people, don't forget to go follow me on Facebook. I'm going to put the link in the comment section. So just click the link, go over there and give me a support. Anyway, people, bless up on yourself. Until I drop the next video, I'm out. Smile up in your face and behind the back, then pull the trigger. Pull you up and slug your blood around like it's a river. Smarter man, not him on the longer liver. My mama said, don't get caught up with no pretty face and sexy figure. Cause them your girl don't know what they have enough for them a digger. I don't know if you get no baby wait till when you're bigger. Just smile and give your wife all the vigor. Wonder how do you go them in the night so flop a phone him on a nooka. Some girl don't look so tough man and figure them a pressure cooker. Well then the girl then I go get no drama for me juka. Nothing that touch me rather than me a looka. I must have to you them over tennis like them want to turn in a shatter. Big man like them the gun fed where them want and them no matter Them a lock the city, no pretty, everybody scatter Two man pan the gun, them left for flatter Yo a just it, man starting a just it Man starting ring ding ding ding, man starting a just it Man starting ding ding ding, man starting a just it Man starting ring ding ding ding, man starting a just it The girl them no one a belly rub a dough because That she love and no kiss no one hug because That she love that's why she prefer in a tub because That she love and she no disease if you need them a rub a pan the rub a rego gi a what she want it if a That she love and we a go to make she turn over Cause I, that me love and chest and breast a figaro because I, that me love you feel it with him I go round in and you throw like the ball boom Give me a reason why you love it from me and you can reach And like the belly rub the thing same time I get a Extra vibe if you give me a better wine And she said, Mr. Spraga come shot me with the nine more from the top I can use a lip a different technique Do it hard and do it soft And flow I do it deep and plus me love if you mean You keep body rub up on the sheep but anyway Oh you from a from a girl a girl a come a come a hype up Are you watching a ready yet? Tell that for your power for you because you're delicate You're not the type, mate, nobody do a shelly Get me to the sky, aye, 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 aye Can now we come for big up all the warriors from the present to the past All who know them fight for your cars, for your cars We big up every warrior from the present to the past All who know some die for your cars Well, some of them are bad, man, no know they are for it Them no know about the root, about the quarter it What picking and riding, them was the start of it And fed them up and boy, why was the class of it Well, Tony Brown and Jack Slash come master it And Jim Brown Fight the struggle in the heart of it And Starkey and the end the blood part of it Then Bucky Marshall and take Christ the rat of it Until the dust run garden and them water it And then This is I just said the thing set I just mad tunes I just mad tunes to days and days and Hey Spraga you're, you're